హలో వెల్కమ్ బ్యాక్ టు జావా ప్రోగ్రామింగ్ యూసింగ్ ఎక్లిప్స్ అది ఇన్ ద లాస్ట్ వీడియో వీ హ్యావ్ సీన్ హౌ టు యూస్ ఎక్లిప్స్ ఫర్ డూయింగ్ ఏ సింపుల్ జావా ప్రోగ్రామ్ టు ప్రింట్ సమ్ టెక్స్ట్ ద కన్వెన్షనల్ హలో వర్ల్డ్ ప్రోగ్రామ్ అండ్ వీ హ్యావ్ ట్రైడ్ టు రన్ ద ప్రోగ్రామ్ అండ్ వీ హ్యావ్ యాడెడ్ సమ్ అవుట్పుట్ కమాండ్స్ యూసింగ్ సిస్టమ్ డాట్ అవుట్ డాట్ Printland. So to print some string, we can use this statement. Printland method can be used to make some, to print some text. So after running, we are getting this out in the output screen. And this is the project. And now I'm going to make another class. i'm going to give the name as number because i'm going to give some uh, i am going to use some numerical operation arithmetic operations in this program so let us see how to add two numbers and the difference between two numbers multiply two numbers and all so how to use the mathematical operations and how uh, the variables are declared and those things you can see in this program here also uh, it is a stand alone program so uh, i want a main method in this program so i have selected main so eclipse will create the project for us class for us with the main method okay this is a new application but i have done it in the default package i have in chosen the package so i will move it to the my package now the package name is my package and the name of our class the class which we have created is and i'm this is the structure of a class so class there will be a name for the class this the this is the name of our file to number dot java that is the name of our java file so the java file name and the class file name will be the same Uh, in the case if it is a class with main method and this are all the qualifiers public is a qualifier which is uh, which implies that the number class is accessible uh, anywhere class is tell that the thing coming after class is the name of the class and the details from uh, details from this curly bracket to its ending curly bracket all these details belong belongs to this particular class number so these are all some commander details forget it we have public static void main main is a method a function uh, and in this method we are using we are having one as set of string array of arguments at present anyhow we are not going to use this argument okay this is a method it is going to do some functionalities and these are all the qualifiers for this method this method is public it can be accessed by outside outside from this class it can even accessed by others not from this class when this is static it is supposed to have only one instance and static also we will see later in detail what is static so void is a return type this main is not supposed to return any value that's why it is called as void this is a standard structure of a main method of a java program so here in this we can uh, go for some operation so here in this class uh, in a class we can have some uh, functions as well as some attributes so i am going to declare some attributes int a one integer variable is dict int b another variable int c so here we have three variables a b c i suppose you have some background of programming either in c or any other languages otherwise the concept of variable is nothing but a storage place in the computer's location and it is a qualifier or a data for this particular variable to show that this will be having a capacity to to store an integer type of variable integer is a type of variable similarly we have float 
um, bool, uh, byte, so many other data types are there in the lang Java language that we will see later. Integer is a type which can store some value in it. Integer specify the size of the storage as well as what are the operations done on the variable A in the storage space. And these are all the members, storage members and this is a method in the class. So uh, let us try to use this one c equal to c equal to a plus b. It's giving some error. Can make a static class to refer a non-static variable. Okay. So better to declare the variables inside the main. Some problem with the static nature of class and the non-static nature of the methods. C equal to A plus B. Again it is showing some error. The local variable may not have been initialized. It is saying that if you want to add A plus B and if you want to store the value into C, there should be some value for A and B. Okay, I'm going to give some initial value A, B, 10 and B, B, 20. So A and B are having some initial value so that it can be used for some calculation with and we can find the new value for the C. Okay, A plus B, this value will be calculated and the result 30 will be stored in C and we want to print it okay to print what we have to do system dot system dot out dot print line so that is the method in the out to print some value. okay now we want to print the result c uh, semicolon is there everything is done so let me try running the program. So it is giving output 30. 10 plus 20 is equal to 30. So I want to uh, give some uh, remark together that. So the string will be given in string format. Here I want to give some values. Yeah. comma sorry a plus b equal to here I want to put a comma b okay So there is some problem coming here. Hmm. Let us try. Okay, actually my idea is to print A, then print B, then print C, and all the values. So t 10 plus 20 equal to 30. That should print in the output, but it is giving some error. Uh, let me put something here. No, it's not solving my problem. Let us proceed and see what is the error. Exception in the thread main Java dot lang error unsolved compilation problem. The method print string, print line string, in the type print stream is not applicable for the argument string 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 at package line number forty. It is giving some error. So here I want to concatenate these values instead of separating these values with comma. Now the error is okay. Even if I remove this quotation, yeah, it will be okay. So A is a value that is going to be concatenated with a string plus whatever given in the quotation it is a string. 
plus the value of b is going to be printed. So first it will give the value of a that is n, then it will print this uh, plus and again then it will print the value of b, the value of b is 20, 10 plus 20, then it will print this equal to symbol, then it will print the value of c. This is what I want to print. So let us try what is going to display. Yeah, it's correct. 10 plus 20 equal to 30. Yeah, we got the expected output. So this is the program for adding two numbers. Okay, we have to reserve some storage locations here for A, B, and C by declaring the variables A, B, C. So here in this program, I have chosen integer types for the storages and the calculation is done here c equal to a plus b okay this is a java program to add two numbers and display the result in a formatted way addition is done here similar if you want to do subtraction you can use the minus operator here and simply if you change the minus symbol here display also the symbol will be changing let us run and see it 10 minus 20 equal to minus 10 so minus 20 is coming second so of course the value will be negative and if you want to see the uh, multiplied result then we have to use the multiplication operator here that is star a star b equal to 200 so 10 into 20 equal to 200 okay that answer is also okay if you want to divide for the division of course I want to change this value to 40 and I'm going to test it 40 divided by 20 equal to 2 okay this program is working well and fine for these values so the operators addition subtraction multiplication and division are working fine with this program please try this program by yourself and if you have any doubt in this program please feel free to contact me i am shaji let me print my email id as well Saji Philip and my email ID is it underscore teacher one at the rate yahoo.com. Okay, this is Shaji for you uh, presenting a simple Java program and it is done with the help of Eclipse ID, wonderful ID for developing Java application programs so please try this program by yourself and if you have any doubt please feel free to contact me i am shaji shaji philip and this is my email id it underscore teacher teacher one at yahoo.com let me run this program and yeah it's coming okay bye thank you for watching this video have a nice day